Hello friends, my name is Sanjay Kadam and today we will study about reproduction in plants. Friends, first of all we will understand the definition of reproduction. What is meant by reproduction? A reproduction is a process by which a parent produces offsprings of its own kind. Means one organism produces one or many organisms of its own kind, of its own type. Means exactly similar to parent near about or dissimilar to parents. Okay. In asexual reproduction, offsprings are exactly similar, genetically similar to parent. While in sexual reproduction, the offsprings are genetically dissimilar to parents. This is the basic difference between asexual and sexual reproduction. But first of all, we learn about the definition, the process by which parents or parent organism, parents or parent organism produces new organisms of its own type or its own kind means like parents new organisms are formed either asexually or sexually as we know reproduction is a characteristic feature of living organisms majority of living organisms undergo reproduction process either asexual or sexual reproduction and by which they produce their new generations and in this way reproduction helps in continuation of species perpetuation of species reproduction helps in replacing of dead organisms by new means dead organisms are replaced by new organisms which are produced through sexual or asexual reproduction in this way reproduction maintains the number of organisms in a particular population okay friends now there are two methods one is asexual while another is sexual method we will distinguish them properly okay now there are some differences between asexual and sexual reproduction first type is asexual reproduction while second second type is sexual reproduction in this way we will learn two types by making their differences clear okay now about first what is meant by asexual and sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction there is no formation and fusion of gametes occur while in sexual reproduction where formation and fusion of gametes occur okay first point formation and fusion of gametes not occurs first point here always formation and fusion of 
गैमेट्स ऑकर्स मीन्स विदाउट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन नॉट ऑकर्स इन केस ऑफ हायर ऑर्गेनिजम्स लोअर ऑर्गेनिजम्स शो कॉन्जुगेशन ओके बट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल टाइप ऑफ हायर ऑर्गेनिजम्स फॉर्मिंग गैमेट्स मेल गैमेट फीमेल गैमेट स्पर्म्स एग्स एक्सेट्रा बट हियर नो फॉर्मेशन एंड नो फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट्स ऑकर देन हाउ द सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ऑकर्स अ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ऑकर्स बाय मीन्स ऑफ बडिंग फ्रैगमेंटेशन स्पोर फॉर्मेशन और फिशन एक्सेट्रा ओके देन सेकेंड पॉइंट इट इज सिंपल एंड रैपिड मेथड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन सिंपल एंड रैपिड वाइल दिस इज इट इज ए कॉम्प्लेक्स बट कंपेरेटिवली स्लो मेथड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन एज कंपेयर टू अ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इज समवॉट स्लो बट कॉम्प्लेक्स इट इज एडवांस इट इज समवॉट प्रिमेटिव इट इज वेरी एडवांस मेथड फॉर सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेक्स ऑर्गन्स इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन एनिमल्स मेल एंड फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम्स आर इसेंशियल ओके नाउ अबाउट थर्ड पॉइंट इट इज यूनिपेरेंटल मेथड मीन्स ओनली वन पेरेंट यूज फॉर रिप्रोडक्शन नो नीड ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल नो नीड ऑफ मेटिंग बट हियर देर इज थर्ड पॉइंट इट इज बाय पेरेंटल मेथड मीन्स हियर uni means one parent and here by means two parents male and female parents are required for fertilization purpose then afterwards after mating fertilization occurs and then new organisms are formed okay in this way uniparental and this type is a biparental four cell division type is mitosis here mitosis occurs means equational cell division occurs reduction division means meiosis not occurs but here mitosis meiosis both occur cell division type is cell division type is meiosis means reduction division occurs for gamete formation in sex organ male sex organ in plants and female sex organs in plant in androecium gynoecium anther of androecium and ovule of gynoecium having meiosis type of division reduction division organisms are almost diploid and their gametes are haploid means organism organisms body cells somatic cells bear diploid number double set of chromosomes while the gametes sex cells germ cells are haploid having single set of gametes means diploid set made haploid by meiosis in sex organs in plants and in anther anther lobes or in pollen chambers while in uh, ovule there occurs meiosis but in animals but in animals testes and ovaries are the sex organs or gonads primary sex organ or gonads where the meiosis occurs and testes by meiosis producing sperms and ovaries by meiosis producing eggs 
in this way meiosis very uh, is very important division in case of sexual reproduction okay then fourth here new organisms produced by asexual reproduction are genetically identical or similar to parents means their offspring or new organisms are similar to parents genetically but here not because sperm or male gamete carry the genetic material of father and egg carry genetic material of mother and when both fuses unites then mixing of genetic material of two parents occur and that is why offspring produced through sexual reproduction have 50% genetic material of father and 50% from mother okay that is why they are not genetically similar to either father or mother exactly okay in this way new organisms or we can call them as a offsprings new organisms are genetically dissimilar unidentical or dissimilar to their parents in this way the offsprings produced by a sexual reproduction are genetically similar in a sexual while genetically dissimilar in sexual reproduction okay as mitosis occurs therefore no crossing over but here during meiosis crossing over occurs occurs normally everywhere during gamete formation means germ cell formation sex cell formation crossing over occurs because meiosis occur in meiosis second so in meiosis first crossing over occurs and that is why genetic recombination occurs between paternal and maternal chromosomes okay that is called recombination of genetic material and it creates variation crossing over leads to recombination of genetic material recombination means variations and variation leads to evolution but here no crossing over therefore no recombination hence no variations among offspring and parent but here there occurs recombination leads to variation as recombination occurs variations are carried out among offspring than parents here no crossing over therefore no recombination of genetic material and therefore no variation but here during meiosis crossing over occurs that is why recombination of genetic material occurs that leads to variation between offsprings and their parents now therefore no evolution here evolution occurs and what is meant by evolution evolution is slow means gradual orderly change from 
simple to complex from primitive to advanced that is why sexual reproduction is better than asexual reproduction as it allows variations and thereby evolution okay then again last example budding fragmentation zoospore formation or spore formation binary fission like these are some methods of asexual reproduction by which the lower plants or lower organisms reproduce asexually but during sexual reproduction one primitive method conjugation and then fertilization these are the two methods conjugation occurs in very lower organisms but fertilization occurs in lower as well as in higher organisms also therefore conjugation that occurs in some bacteria etc primitive unicellular organisms and then always occurs fertilization means union of male gametes with female gametes so as to form zygote zygote develops into embryo and embryo gives rise new organism either in plants and animals in this way fertilization is a advanced method and very common method among plants as well as in animals okay friends these are the some distinguishing points by which we understood little bit about the differences in between asexual and sexual reproduction